Hello and good day, friends and yogis. I'm Nicole Spirit. We're here to do five minutes to strengthen our arms. All right, let's stand with our feet about hip width apart. We're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna start by opening the door of life. Let's just swing our arms from side to side around the body, moving around the belt channel of your body. This is a very empowering move for your spine. It helps wake up your whole body. Smile and breathe. Feel good. And if you don't feel good, that's okay. Did I mention we have special guest in the house, Puka Dog, today? We're so lucky. I'm so grateful that she's here. And I'm even more grateful that you're here. Let's do a couple more moments. Another way to get a stretch is keep your head facing forwards and bring your shoulder right under your chin. Let's feel that awakening in the body. Let's come back to stillness now. And we're gonna just take our fingers and press them into our forehead, bringing rejuvenation and blood to our frontal lobe. This is also good for evoking joy. And we're also getting a mini arm workout. Not really, but let's pretend we are. Let's reach up now, picking cherries. Keep your hips really grounded and open up through the side body. This should feel nice and breathe and just let something go with your exhale, any negativity, anxiety, anything that's been bothering you lately, let that stuff go. All right, release your arms down. Now we're gonna make circles with the right arm. So bring it up and back, up and back. And when the arm floats down, you can bend your knees. Good, let's do this a few times, just to open up what's called the shoulder's nest. Good, then we're gonna go the other way. Reverse the circle. If you're feeling super vigorous, you can do both arms at once, but it always confuses me, so I gotta do it one arm at a time. Good, then we pause, just feel already an enlivening in that right side. Let's do the left. So the arm lifts up and then just let it fall and drop back. And when you let the arm down, you can get a little bounce in the knees. Should feel fun, should feel a little bit silly, but also just like you're opening up and releasing some of that stress and tension that we store at the low back and at the neck and at the shoulder area. Smiling and breathing. Good, let's go the other way. Arm comes up, let it just float down. And if you don't have a full range of motion, that's okay. Maybe it'll open up with doing this exercise a few times. Now I'm going to possibly embarrass myself and try to coordinate the motion. Doing one arm forwards and one arm back. All right, one arm forwards. <laughs> this is not exactly it, but you know what? If you can windmill your arms around, I'm super stoked. Then go the other way. So one arm back, one arm forwards. Here we go. Switch it up if you haven't already. Not exactly sure what's happening. That's all right. Shake it off. Shake through the arms. Shake through the hands. Even bounce, shake through the legs a little bit. Good, and then we're gonna bring our hands behind us. So you can clasp your hands. You can even take hold of the opposite elbow and just feel this nice release. You can bring your chin down, roll your shoulder, your ear to your right shoulder. Nice and gentle, bring the chin down, roll to the left side. Good, come back to center. Now we're gonna lower down onto the knees and we're just gonna do some push-ups, super easy push-ups. Leave the knees down. You can stay in plank if you want. This modified plank, just holding your body up. This is also a little bit of a chest workout, so don't freak out, just have fun. If you're feeling it, let's do just four little baby push-ups. Inhale and exhale down. If you're feeling super vigorous today, bring your knees up. I'm not. Good, that was four. Let's just do a child's pose and hang out here for a sec. 
Hey, Pampa. Pika's licking herself because she can. Good, child's pose. Remember, you can do wide knee child's pose as well. That is very comfortable. It helps people a lot. All right, let's come back. Let's bring the legs and knees back. Square your shoulders right over your hands. You can open your palms a little bit wider. And if you're into it, let's try five push-ups. Inhale down, exhale up. Try to come as close to the ground as possible. Good, and when you've done five, let's just sit back on our heels. If that's not comfortable, sit on the yoga mat. You can whip it up under your butt or you can come into easy pose. Now give yourself a hug. So we did a total of nine uh, bent knee or modified push-ups. So give yourself a hug, massage into those shoulders a little bit, big arm opening, and then do the other arm on top. Say something nice like, I love me, I love my strong arms. Maybe you say something cool like that, I am strong. Give yourself a kiss, keep it super simple. Let's finish off with some silk reeling, going in one direction, opening the fingers wide, and then going the other way. Smile and breathe. You're gonna have an amazing day. You're gonna have a great sleep tonight. And I'm sending you all of my love and aloha. Let's come back to the hands of the heart. The light in me greatly honors and sees the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you subscribe to Yoga with Nicole Spirit and we'll see you again next time. Take care.